Hi, my name is Arnie Mendez, and today I'm going to have a presentation called The Impact of, of Substance Abuse on Youth Mental Health. So a little, bit, a little bit about me, I am a student at Cal CLA. My major is Rehabilitation Services. Um, rehabilitation is focused on working with disability and also working with veterans. Um, this will be my last year in Cal State LA and then I'll be graduating. I'm super excited and I really look forward. I'm actually the first in my family to, be, to, um, to go to university. I'm a first generation and also I'm really looking forward to be a, a good role model to my siblings. A little bit about the program, um, uh, rehabilitation. Uh, some of the programs focus on substance use, addiction counselor, human services, caseworker, health service recruiter, homeless shelter recruiter, job specialist, disability center counselor, domestic violence recruiter, um, parole officer, and much more. I'm also getting a, a certificate on, on veterans. I, um, yeah, so I'm getting a certificate working with veterans. And so I'm really excited to get like another a certificate with them. So now I have a question. Do you think substance abuse has an overall effect on a person's health? So throughout my presentation, I'm gonna be talking about, um, about this. What is mental health and why is it important? Mental health is a, a condition that affects the person's thinking, feeling, behavior, or mood. This, this, um, um, condition deeply impacts day-to-day -day living and may also affect the ability to relate to others. Rehabilitation counseling focuses on helping people who have a disability and achieve their goal. Youth and mental, and mental health. One in one six U U.S. Youth age six, six through 17 experience a mental health disorder each year. 50% of the lifetime mental illnesses begin at the, by the age of 14 and 75 by the age of, four, of 24. Health harms and substance abuse. Did you know one in, one in 10 young people experience a period major depression? According to Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services and Administration, this is due to the fact that the limiting brain doesn't react the same way to contact with the mind or mood altering substance. Um, a little bit about the mind or mood altering substance. Um, that is talking is focusing on alcohol, tobacco, and marijuana. Alcohol, mental health, and the youth. Drinking increases the chance that children children will engage in in risky behaviors. In twenty nineteen, about two twenty four point six percent a 14 to 15 year old reported at least one drink. Um, I'm gonna be talking about the effects of alcohol has on your body, which are the brain, the lungs, the heart, and the liver. Marijuana, marijuana mental health and, and the youth. Students who, who smoke marijuana are more likely than than non users than non users peer to to get to get poor grades and drop out of high school. People smoke marijuana for a lot of different reasons: to feel good, to feel better, to feel diff to feel different, or to fit in. Whatever the reason is, drugs drugs have a serious consequence. Tobacco, mental health, and the youth. Tobacco use affects the body's development. This includes baking, cigar, and hookah. 
Jessica, this is harmful for the team because the, the team body are still growing. Now I'm going to be talking about some healthy tips. Self-care and mental health. Um, it's always important to self-care and always to put yourself first. Um, so, some lifestyle changes can help manage the symptom of many uh, mental health problems. They, they may also help prevent some some problems from developing mean teen or getting worse. Um, something that helps me with my self-care is um, going hiking, playing soccer, or also joining a youth coalition. Like I said in the beginning, it's always important to put yourself first and and always um, like to do the things you like to do. Now I'm gonna be talking about some resources. The internship project choice um, supports the movement of youth and young adults in advocacy um, work around ATOD. Youth Prevention 365, all cities come together, such as Carson, Inglewood, El Segundo, and Gardena. And me, and me for the group, and me for a group meeting to plan events around substance abuse prevention. ATOD focus on presentations. For example, of the presentation, I attended a youth advocacy and youth and substance abuse, marijuana, the youth, and some and so much more. Some other resources, ADAP YFP services. This is for youth and families to engage in programs and provide services to both youth and adults. Supported services, ADAP helps with many, with many things um, such as youth and family to get access after resources, gang intervention, um, parent project, et cetera. Another, another resource that we have is youth development. The youth can always get involved and have a voice. This is a great way to, for them to make friends and learn more about the community. So now I'm going to be talking about some resources we have at Cal State LA, and it's called Office Office for Student with Disability. Um, office with Dis uh, Office for Student with Disabilities focus on note taking. Note takers will be able to take notes in class for their lecture. They will continue. They will continue to upload those notes into the OSD database so students can receive them. We also have Deaf Heart Hard of Hearing. American Sign Language is available for students who need interpretation services. Um, testing modification also um, we have. If you need extra time um, for an exam, rescheduling is available to allow them for the student. Also for this, um, we if you're taking the math test, you're also allowed to have a calculator in your notes. This is some of the resources we have at Cal CLA. Um, it might be different from from the high school students, which they their their resources might be either the nurse, the principal, their teachers, or a counselor. And some more resources on mental health, um, National Alliance on Mental Health Illnesses, and SAMHSA. Um, most of my information I got from these two resources, and if you want to learn more, I do recommend these two um, site, um, these two websites were very helpful helpful for me. You advocacy and mental health. Let's talk about let's talk about how we can make a difference on the youth and community. You, you need to have a voice to be heard on issues that are important to them. Um, protecting and promoting their rights. Some youth coalitions we do have are Inglewood, Yucca, uh, Gardena, High School Task Force, and 
Also, Carson. Now I'm going to be talking about personal story on minds and also um, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So now going back to my story. Um, so I remember my first year of college, I, I met a friend. She was super outgoing, really nice and really bubbly. Um, I felt like she, she was really, she got along with everyone. And she was, for me, I felt like she was really popular. And so throughout the years, I didn't, I kind of saw her less and less. And my third year, I, I noticed I had a class with her and um, she was very distant. She wouldn't like talk as much. She would sit by herself. And I knew something was wrong with her, but I didn't really ask just because um, it seemed like she was like closed off. And so my, I would ask a friend of mine and I would ask her like, oh, like what's wrong with her? Like, is she okay? And she told me that she was going through a lot of stuff right now. And also I noticed that she was hanging out with the, like the wrong crowd. Um, I felt like that crowd um, were, were bad influence on her. And um, the people she was hanging out with, I felt like they didn't really care about their education. And um, she, she just seemed really different. So um, I, I could tell she turned to, to substance to, to make her feel better. Um, I felt like she wasn't really fully there either. Um, so it was her last, I remember my third year, it was her last year. Um, like I said before in the beginning, she was really smart, really bubbly, um, funny, and I felt like she lost herself. Um, so, I felt like she didn't have anyone to talk to and she turned to a substance. Uh, fortunately, I do not know what happened to her until this day. Um, I just felt like I, maybe I should have like done something to help her. Um, maybe she needed a friend. Yeah. How does mental health look like? So in my story, I talked about my friend. How she seemed, how she was very happy in the beginning and very nice, really smart and really bubbly. Going back to the story of my friend, um, I did mention that she kind of distanced herself from everyone. She was very popular and always would have people around her. And um, I don't know where she just started like distancing herself and started like when we had class, she would just be in the corner by herself. She wouldn't be uh, interact with like the students or the professors. She will hardly kind of show up to class too. Um, also going back to the story of my friend, I felt like she was very lonely um, and very sad. I felt like she didn't really have anyone to talk to. Depression. Going back to my story on my friend, um, I felt like she, she was very depressed and I felt like she didn't, she kind of lost herself. Um, she was hanging out with the wrong people and um, she just kind of gave up. In, in, in her schoolwork and, and herself too. And due to her loneliness, her sadness, um, and her not being happy anymore, she did turn to, to substance. And she, she got addicted to alcohol, taking pills, and she just lost herself and she was just hanging out with the wrong friends and she just I, I felt like she she didn't know what she wanted anymore so now 
I want you guys to pledge with me with your right hand up and follow after me. I, Arlene Mendez, pledge to be a mental health advocate, to be kind, to love, to let go, to listen, to take a walk, to try. I pledge to support mental health, to breathe, to forgive, to smile, to talk to someone. Now that you guys support mental health, it's very important to always um, take care of yourself. And also, um, if you see a friend struggling, also um, try to help out, help out too. For more information, um, we do have Facebook and Instagram. It is ADEP, ADEP Inc. Um, and also for to learn more information about my, my major, which is Rehabilitation Services. I am a student at Cal CLA. My email is amendes3131 at gmail.com. Um, I just wanna say thank you and also um, to self-care. Thank you.